You're listening to Truly Unruly with Marcus and Jessica Trufant. What's up, Trufants? How y'all what? doing? Hey! Oh, Kale, what's good, brother? We're good. How Chilling. are you? Good. Uh, Dogwood's kind of messing with me a little bit. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit. But um, the wind, the, the, the white stuff right right in the air. Oh, okay. And it's crazy because, <laughs> like, the, it's hella been, it's been hella windy. Yeah. So it's just like. And when it blows <laughs> around and you're walking your around like. Face. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's. There was something in the house. Snap dribbling. Day, and I was like, how did this get in the house? I didn't know what it was at first, but. I thought it was bubbles. Yes, that's why when we work out sometimes before right. I started taking Allegra D, the kind that you have to like show your ID for, I would work out and we have like a garage door type door and there's like a little bit of space and all the pollen and Oof. all that kind of stuff was coming in and it was literally Instant sneezing. like I was sick. This, I made the mistake of trying to wash my car in it. Oh mm. no! I had to put on an N95 mask. Oh wow! <laughs> like, like for like, I, I think the N95 is the one that so you don't smell right. like smoke and all that. You kind got of bad stuff. allergies? Yeah, I got pretty bad allergies. Yeah, no. Yeah. I only deal with bad allergies here though in the Northwest. Yeah, it's, I'll go down south. If it's family allergies don't bother me there. It's I don't know different. what it is. It's yeah. different. Humidity. Yeah, maybe that has something to do with I it. Really and we got a lot of we've got a lot of greenery, a lot of yeah. a lot of. A lot of. A little too and much. It, mm. I don't even have allergies. I went through a little phase to where I was. You were sneezing your ass off. S- sneezing, yeah. It was pretty bad Yeah. this season so far. Mm-hmm. He was sneezing nonstop, um, which, well, Carmen was sneezing. All the kids, right, yeah. yeah. So everybody is on allergy medicine. Yeah, spring in the Northwest, <laughs> not the business. <laughs> um, okay, so today's episode comes from a friend of mine hit me up and was like, I'm not going to say his name, Hmm. but he's probably super excited now that he's like, oh, Kale's doing it. But uh, he was like- Damn, you might as well say his name, Kale. Nah, I'm not about to put him on left. Say his name, say his name. I'm not doing that to his wife. But this is a safe place. This This is is a safe safe place. place. This is a safe place. Okay. Um, But he was just like, bro, like, your people, they've been married. He calls you guys my people. Like <laughs> right. that's how you know he's your folk. That's right? how you know he's yeah. hood, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's you know, narrowed it down. Know he's like, people. your people's been married for hella long, and you know your dude. He was in the league, so they might have at some point may have dealt with insecurities. He's like, my wife is just being like super mad, insecure about stuff, and this, this, and that. And I just wanted if you guys can maybe talk about how. Someone can get through marriage insecurities. Mm. I don't know if you. Now, I personally don't know if you guys. You ever, can't. Oh, okay. Okay. You can. You can. Really, yeah. really. Yeah. If it's a continual pattern of insecurity. Oh no! If I'm, you're always insecure, no. What I'm saying is, is if you work through it and you oh, make the effort, it can be done. Here we go. What? Here we go. Well, Jesus glad, over well, here. Well, cool. Look, like, yeah. I need you right now. Okay. Marcus. I think it's because he was born on Christmas. Like, he literally thinks Jesus. he's, like, aligned <laughs> with Jesus. Like, like embodies I him. I got a personal like, relationship. <laughs> Me and my God. <laughs> my God. <laughs> um, remember what you just said. Okay. Please... Keep a receipt of that, Got okay? Because we have here uh, working through it. I mean, five solid ways of to, to tackle insecurity in your marriage. So here's the first one: it's identifying the root. Rarely is the other partner's behavior or their actions at the root of, of the feeling of insecurity. Behaviors or actions only prove to be a trigger point that dig out insecurities from within. So work on identifying the root cause of your insecurity, and then work on the root. Uh, rooting it out of your system. Um, easier said than done. What makes that difficult? Because a lot of people aren't even aware. You know, they know that there's something wrong and they're flashing and they're doing all this kind of stuff, but you don't realize that it might be something within you. Mm-hmm. You think it's your partner, mm-hmm. right? Right. So that is definitely easier said than done. Just work on yourself and grow and really. No, you're right. Because I feel like, yeah, some people actually don't even really know what's actually wrong with them to begin with. You don't know. know A lot of people don't realize that. Yeah. So, bullshit. (laughs) What I would say, insecurity is a real thing. So, it's just, it's just like any relationship. It's communication. 
and you have to let your partner know and but not in a way that you're attacking right right so if I'm insecure about something that Jessica is doing um, for me to attack her and come at her and tell her that I hate this. I don't want you doing this anymore type of thing. Um, in most cases, it's going to be counterproductive. So if you, okay, Jess, um, I don't really like this and this is why and this is what I'm dealing with. And then you kind of talk through it and then may bring you some type of peace to where you're able to work out of that. Insecurity, naturally. I've got a great example. So at one point in time, early on in our marriage, Marcus wanted to travel with his friends and do this and do that and all these kinds of things. And I was like, I felt insecure about it. And he was basically like, oh, no, I'm going to do this. And I'd be like, you know, I'd fight him and tell him, he ain't shit and stuff like that. But he would do it anyway. Mm-hmm. And so one day I reversed it and I'm like, I'm going to go on a trip with my girls by myself for X amount of days and deal with it. It never happened again. I have a question about that. Um, because I mean, I'm, now we do yeah, it, but in the right, beginning, right, right. It but, never happened again. Cause he thought about it and was like, okay, I don't want that to happen. It was, so I'm that, not going to do it anymore. But, um, yes, you had malice in your heart. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm going to go on this trip. I'm going to do this and do that. Well, wait a minute. Like, right, At that okay. point, I have young kids and he's like, oh, I know, but I'm, saying, I'm about to so, go to this six day bachelor party. Didn't we talk about that? Okay. Anyway. So I was like, okay. But when I flipped it on you, you wanna, he right, was yeah, very true. quick to say no. And he had to think about it and think about what you were doing. Would you want me to be like, oh, I'm out of here. Here you go. Take the kids. I'm leaving. I'm gone. I have a question, you guys, because I've actually heard not situations like that, but very similar that I've learned that. And this is just from my own personal experience. So, like, this is just what I've experienced. A lot of guys get a lot of pushback from asking their wives or girlfriends or tell them, like, hey, I'm going to go on this guy's trip. Or it's like, and it's like, and I've heard guys never like, yo, like I tell my girl all the time, like go on a girl's trip, go on a trip with your right. girls. But they're like, well, no, like, and I don't know if it's Well, why don't you want to go on a trip with me? Why are you trying to push me out to go with my but, girls? Like, I don't but, get it. But that's the thing though, is like, we've talked before in previous episodes that it's good to have your self time. Right. It does make sense for us, but for other people, it does work. You didn't want me traveling because I, I wasn't a good guy at the And time. it was last... N- well, we were married. I know, but I'm saying... Ooh. ooh early on. Ooh. Uh, not ooh. Oh, what are I you was trying not to say? a good guy. So well, there was... You shouldn't uh, there have was, an issue with me we traveling. We were rebuilding... No, wait, wait, wait. You shouldn't have a, 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 a thing against me traveling if I'm in this now... Well, I said that was back know, in the day. It doesn't matter. That's what I'm saying. So I'm trying to equate to that, though. So there's there's stuff and there's insecurities because things go on. So your buddy, I don't know if he's had some stuff going on. If not, he needs to put time in to right. rebuild that. And it depends right. on who you're traveling with as well. That'll put a freaking ring oh, yeah. in mean, everything. Well, no, yeah, like I, 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 I definitely. You're traveling with all your single friends. No, I'm not even that. Like I know there's just certain, du- there's certain dudes that like I don't I even travel with. Word. I don't even like, I've never really, tra- I've never traveled with and I won't travel with because I know what they're about and I'm just like, I'm not about to be attached to whatever it is that you be, you've done or do because I don't want that to be reflective of me. So like I've definitely... <laughs> <laughs> like, I would. So I'm like, like, I get it. Like, I would disagree. No, because everyone's wife has, everyone's wife has Agreed. that one. Your one husband's friend that you're like, eh, I don't like him. Agree. Every Always. wife has one. One but, to two friends <laughs> that you're like, I would rather not. <laughs> but the thing is, so I get, I get what you mean. The Jess, double standard it. is. Oh no, there's no double standard. There's people in 
lady circles that are that is very true of, too uh, uh, um, yes uh, oh my wife hangs out with you now my wife look like a hoe here exactly. we go you know what but I it's am okay here because it's I the am wife, the poster right? child birds a of a standard. feather don't always flock together let's get that that's straight that's not my point listen it's let's usually it it's usually the loose friend that's the reason why all the rest of the friends are sitting at the table drinking for free <laughs> Well, you you got you got the crows over here, and I'm like the fucking hummingbird parrot, like the most like that. Yeah, that's not my point. My point was is that it's made to be like the women can handle that and they can get through that, and it's not a big deal. But if a guy has a guy um, homie or friend or whatever, that's you know out in the streets or whatever, then it's totally off limits. But the women can handle it, right? Well, it depends on what kind of streets they're in. Point proven, but <laughs> right. Yeah, and another thing too with girls, I get to why girls, like, it's, it's difficult for them to put a trip together because most of the time, y'all end up fighting the first night anyway. Oh, yeah. someone gets way been, too drunk. Someone gets way too yes. drunk. Yes. And, yes. <laughs> and then you're getting the phone call like, babe, you won't believe this. Right. And it's like, yo, it's two in the morning. I'm in bed. What? This girl. You know what I'm but they waste the whole day just so yeah, hard. Fighting and stuff. And then like the next BS. morning, they're sitting at brunch with some. I didn't like on, when you had shit. Yeah. Or like <laughs> when you go out with your girls and we're all moms and we're in Vegas and we're partying and then next thing you know, we don't even know that we were in the club that we were in because we're moms and we've had these babies and we just want to throw back these shots and we don't know where we're at anymore and yeah so yeah you guys are decompressing way too you guys fast. don't even have to deal oh, with that though we decompress you no there is something about birthing children oh well, yeah and then going out with your girls you guys are all moms you're tired as fuck and you're trying to act like you're not, and you're throwing back these shots, and next thing you know, you guys are all sleep on a day bed <laughs> in Vegas. Again. That is what happens. The double standard. That is our girl's wait, trip. Wait, 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 wait. Sleep. The guys don't understand that. Is that what you're saying? That because the women have the kids and the decompression It's just not the same. Different. It's the same, but a little bit different. Guys, we go out. I'm 40 now. Me and my guys go out. We try to, you know, start like we're At 26. Six I mean, and, PM. Yeah, let's get these uh, shots and let's do this. Let's go out. And then before we know it, we like, okay, it's time to go out. It's time to do something. But then we're still at the place where we may be having dinner or something. And then we like the club. Uh, oh, okay. So you're talking because no, I'm like, here, we don't no, even I know. I know exactly what I'm, you mean. Yeah, I'm just saying right. that it's not the same, but it's the same type of process that we're not what we used to be. So we nobody got to throw in the towel. But you just try to say it's the women only. But, so but we're like the fellas hella and sure. not the way we used to be. Like there's a different level of that's exhaustion. Age, well, age. It wasn't. It's not age. We w <laughs> we're not on the same page today. Huh? We're not on the same page. Hmm. That's gonna be a good show then. That's why you're tired tonight because yeah, you're true. older. I worked out twice today. We, we talked. About we just talked about this. Put a two a day. In. <laughs> right. No, I get what you mean because like. There's times like I've gone out, gone out town, like, yeah, we're gonna go. Yeah. And like eleven o'clock comes it. and I'm like, yeah, the wife's finally let us out, I'm so like, let's go. But right. I'm about to smoke a joint right. and go to sleep. Right. <laughs> like, it's time I'm to tired. turn in. Man, it's ten forty five. Murray's I'm watching the door and like, you got you you did you didn't do anything? He's like, Ah, oh, no, nah, everybody was everybody faded. I'm like, All right. Yeah. Cool. I that get up way too early in the morning. Yeah. So I just be like, Yo, bro, I'm tired, dog. Like, yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> I get it. Okay, so uh, our next question is: uh, Well, we're still we're still talking about to get back on track about uh, birds of a cop feather coping with insecurities in a marriage. The second one is voice your concerns. Once you start working on yourself, enroll your partner to help you. One of the easiest ways to work on your insecurities is to approach them with an open and understanding approach. Rather than anger, guilt, or shame, identify the specific external triggers of your insecurity uh, and ask your partner to help you by uh, consciously avoiding the things that fuel uh, the fire, or at least until you learn to deal with it. Once again, 
easier said easier than, said than done. done. That's like, first of all, that comes with a level of maturity, all kinds of different things. That does not happen straight off the bat when you first get married. I am, <laughs> there's no way I would have been able, Marcus, so I am insecure about this. Th- yeah. Absolutely. That's I wasn't no. mature enough to. No. Right. No, yeah, that's, it is way easier said than done because. If the, if the maturity isn't there in your relationship or just as an individual, you're asking to start an argument. If someone's already sensitive about it anyway, so right. now it's, you know, yeah. And your partner, if he doesn't receive it well, no. Yeah. No, I get it. So, whoever, no. Hey, hey, okay. Jeez, Jess. <laughs> All right, uh, number three is uh, do things independently. Uh, this is a line of act. Uh, this line of action works on improving your self worth. Realize that you are enough in yourself, uh, in and of yourself, and you do not need a man, woman, relationship, kids, family to justify your existence or how awesome you are. Wait a minute. So this is before you're married, right? No, this is like the, the, this is just why if you, Wait, why you're married and let's say you're in, you you're having okay. Well, these that's feelings. a slippery slope. I know who I am. It's, it's, I don't it, need a well, man. Well, I, he's not. But, but that's but, the thing, though. Like, it, it, like it, it, but it's the truth, though, Jess. At the end of the day, it all starts within, right? Because at the end of the day, it's all here, right? So, like, you're gonna you have to do the work, right? You have to do the independent work. There's always so. I mean, of course, like you want your spouse. Uh, to support you and not do the things that trigger you, but at the same time, like you have to, you have to do the work do and the you, work up but here. You, once again, you have to know that you have to do the work in order for it to work. Yeah. Sometimes it open takes communication, a, uh, right? A lot of people shut down, right? And open communication is hard for a lot of people, though, because because of feelings. It's like, or especially if it's like your husband or wife. That's the one person, like, you care about what they think and what they think about you. Some people don't know how to communicate, though. A lot of guys, especially. Yeah. Um, I was going to say I beg to differ. Right. Just kidding. Um, so you learn. It's a learned skill. You got to get your reps. You got to right. get your shots you, you up. You got to practice. Yeah, you gotta, it's just not something that's natural for right. um, a lot of people. And I was one of those guys. But I've been practicing. No, I told you I'm right, going to do yeah. the same things that you're doing and that shut it down but i could have been um what i wanted to say in my natural um, okay tongue was okay <laughs> your natural do tongue. it and then because it's like a, a, but wait a, a thing. why didn't you say it no but i'm saying i could have done that people get defensive if you're gonna say stuff like that that doesn't always work some guys or women may not be ready for that okay i'm gonna go do this and if you're in the space okay do it i dare you and then things get worse and they snowball because it's gonna be a competition thing okay i'm insecure so i want to make you insecure or, or i'm gonna show you what insecurity feels like and i think it's a setup for i think that's a, a great idea I think that's that's the way you play the game. That's, it could work. That's toxic. It could work because <laughs> that's so toxic. Somebody could have this epiphany to be like, okay, I get it now. I understand. Or it's like, okay, I see what you're about, and I don't like it. So but it's I'm okay. done. But that's what I'm saying. Look at yourself. You started it. I finish it. I know, but you started it. I finish it. It doesn't always You go work party. Like guess what? I'm but going to go party. Are narrow minded. Times as hard as you. You shouldn't have to try your partner like that, though. Sometimes you do. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes yeah. you do. You Damn. do have to try your partner. Damn. Sometimes. Maybe. I don't know if it's healthy or not. I don't give a shit. It worked for me. Yeah. I, I mean, instead of looking at it as something that it like shuts stuff down, do you think about it, it? Do you down. think about it more as, as oh he took a step back and kind of thought about it a little bit? No, I was like oh he knows the deal. He does not want his wife out frolicking free with willy the pigeons. Free willy. Oh, that, that, you know what? And I bet you that was getting to know you now, Marcus. I bet you that was the part that was the problem. It wasn't. He wasn't concerned about you. It was who you was out kicking, going to be kicking it with. Um, no, no. Yes, there no? was there was definitely a concern. It was more. What are you trying to say, Kel? Is that like? 
He, he was trying to give you a compliment. I'm giving you a compliment. Before you. I thought you were talking. It's more about the friends, no, right? Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like and he wasn't, so he's not concerned about. Be out yeah, not with so your con- friends. Yeah, he's not so concerned about like you like wilding out or doing something stupid. It's. But the, maybe I was. Like I or said. Maybe the girls you once be again. Because association. I don't even. No. Malice. There was anger in this. There wasn't malice. Conversation. There I'm going to go not- do this. Because I see you doing this, I'm gonna go out and do the same so thing. So let's say just thing. let's say just you would have went on a trip. What would have happened? Would you have been the whole time thinking in your head like, yeah, so Marcus is sleep so on gonna- the day beds, like I said before, <laughs> that would have been the trip. Sleep on the day bed. Like, because I would think the the malice thoughts I feel like would have gone away by the time you've got to your destination. Yes or no. Or do you do you allow him to have rent free? Well, be rent free in might, your head I might like have that? approached it with malice, but I'm never gonna go out like, yeah, I'm about to. Bu- bu- I was about bu- to bu- say like, you don't be no. letting this man live rent no, free I'm in your head gonna... like that. <laughs> no, well, I'm just uh, I'm talking for the other couples. It worked for us. It, it that's what I said. For it, us, but it we don't want to set me. people up with the expectation that you go out right. and you're talking like this to your man that they're gonna get. The same response because... Well, we said that. Some people might not be ready to receive right. the response. It can go, so it can a, go all the way left. It's a slippery slope. And with insecurity in general, I think it's a thing that needs to be talked about um, from both parties in a, you know, putting the shoe or stepping in the other person's shoes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Trying to understand, seeing exactly where she's coming from I mean, and what she got going on. Right. And, and it's hard to do. And seriously, in my defense, I didn't know what to do because, you know, he's telling me, well, I'm doing this. And I'm like, okay. So I just kind of threw one in the air. <laughs> <laughs> the Hail Mary. Right. I just did a Hail Mary and it worked. And I'm like, oh, shit. All right. Okay, cool. Cool. That's cool. funny. All right. Here's the next one. Realize you're hurting your partner. How? Just, just hear it out, Jess. Uh, when you question a truly committed and faithful partner, uh, owing to your insecurities, when you doubt their loyalty and fidelity because you can't get over or over or past the doubt in your mind, you are hurting an honest person. Do they deserve it? Well, it depends. It literally, it depends. Sometimes they do deserve it, and it is the partner's job to make their woman or guy feel secure. It goes both ways. It really does. I agree. But that's what that's saying is, is like, let's say that the person is doing that work and they're being faithful to being committed and they're trying and they're trying to do the things. Well, then that's a personal thing. Right. Therapy. Or it's, it's a personal thing or it's going to chip away at your relationship until you have nothing. So when you talk about um, therapy and people doing the internal work, but at the same time, just like you said, it is the partner's job to make sure that the man or woman feels secure even if you are being this faithful, you know, loving person, maybe you're lacking in some space that you don't know about. Oh, yeah, Watch I know, out, Kale. Uh, I know as far as me, I, I'm, at times I can be oblivious to things that may be seen as being obvious, but I get the blind side attack, and I don't like it, but I have to respect it. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? And so how we kind of got past the, you can't go on a guy's trip because you guys, we do do separate trips. We do. I mean, I don't really, I've never really gone on a girl's trip, but I do go to bachelorette part. I fly out for bachelorette part. Okay, anyways. Um, But he, because I was the one that was insecure, he over time, it takes time, made me feel secure. Like, Mm. just everything. He became more open. He communicated more. It was, you know, he showed me in different ways. And so then I was like, okay. And he's literally like, you know, I ain't going nowhere. 
you are my queen, stuff like that. And I know guys do that and they're still doing those things, but I trusted that. Mm -hmm. I did. I did. And so it made me feel more secure after being with an athlete, a professional athlete. I know some people can relate, but yeah. And so I don't have... What? What does that mean? Nah, I get oh, it. Oh, you know what it means. I, uh, uh, I get oh, it. I no, totally no, get you it. You know. But I don't, I don't feel insecure. I don't question anything. When he wants to leave now, I'm like, who going to help me with the kids? That's my greatest <laughs> right, concern right, at this right. point. But not about, oh, he's about to be off. No. Right. Right. Got um, point okay, so here's the last one. It's called Give Time Time. So... Insecurities make the, make us act silly. We do stupid things because insecurities blur our perspective. So when you feel the compulsive need to explode, armed with all of your investigation and sarcastic comebacks, come back a few steps. Uh, give time, some time to do its magic. And show you that there is no reason to feel insecure. Most conflicts between couples can be avoided if they both act wisely and hit the pause button instead of instantly acting and reacting every single time. Okay, so... D- did like a psychologist write this yes. or like, okay, <laughs> the theme of the episode, easier said than done. But you got to start just somewhere though. Like, just take a step back and just, just chill. No, I'm exploding. Yeah. But some people need it simplified like that though. What that I don't would mean say, shit. <laughs> yes. Explosion and raw. Emotion is okay, but you you like, like and that it depends shit. on the, no, 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 you know no, what no, no, it depends no. on the person in their wait, temperament wait, wait. and their personality. Listen. Sometimes no, yeah, so the going. explosion and the raw emotion can be good because it's getting your truth out in your way. But I've told you this before: you have to find a way to come back to the middle after you've had your fit right. and you do all your stuff or whatever, and you got to be able to come back and have a real conversation and, and let's talk about this. The young us. That would that would have never happened, right? Yeah, um, the blow ups come, and then you know, I was at the time I you know I wouldn't be phased for it, right? He didn't care, or I didn't literally think I was phased by it. I would just keep a straight face and just keep it smooth. But to be able to talk through stuff after the blow up and be calm enough or be mature enough or have enough sense to come back to the table after that, I think is okay. So. I don't necessarily agree with um, not blowing up every time. If that's how you feel mm-hmm. and that's what you want to say, I think it's good to get it out. Because if you let it sit, And some people it can are just worse. like that. It just, you can try it's and soften it a little, right. but if you're, if you feel right. some type of way, you feel some type that's, of way. That's what I mean by when I said like, you like that shit. Right. Well, what I mean by that is. I know. What are you trying to say, No, no, no. What I mean by that is because he is a, I want to handle it right now. Right. Right. So get it all out now. Freak. Do all that so we can take care of it right now. That's what I mean by that because you're a- Take the blow. Right now person. Yeah. Because you want to- a you know, and we better rope a Yeah, you don't like dope. cooler heads prevail. You're, yeah. We need well, to take care of it right now. I do, but I mean, if it don't happen like that, it don't always happen like that. Right. I think that's oh, unrealistic to yeah. say that. Right. That it's going to be, okay, let's just chill and let's calmly talk through this. Right. People get pissed off. People get emotional. And that's just what it is. So, okay. So, in summary, what would you guys say is the best way and the first steps to dealing with a insecure marriage like what is what what is your summary like what is your best piece of advice walking away from this conversation that you can give somebody and with your experience of how long you guys have been together for well my first thought is you maybe shouldn't be married <laughs> oh shit <laughs> come on terrible it's not, advice because <laughs> not everybody you know comes out on the other side like we do yeah, like we did. So, um, I don't, the only, you have to be self-aware. Yeah, I agree. You have to be sensitive to your partner. Right. Um, and then you got to do like me and just have a clap back and make him insecure and then you win. Terrible advice. Okay. Terrible advice. <laughs> Terrible advice. I'll clean it up for both of us. Oh, God. Here we go. So what you want to do is, <laughs> is um, 
be okay with being vulnerable on both sides, to be able to open up. Let's talk through these insecurities. This is why on both sides, Mm -hmm. maybe the man or woman is not very open, but let's talk through some stuff. And maybe you're doing these things um, to make yourself feel better because you do have insecurities and this is your fallback. Okay, I'm going to be out because it makes me feel good. And if things go bad or whatever, I know that um, that I'm in a place where um, mm-hmm. that, that I'll be taken care of because I got other women, I guess, or whatever. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So um, people do things or act a certain way because of insecurities too. It's just not always to clap back and this, and I feel this way. People go out and do stuff to make themselves feel good and build themselves up. So I think right. it's a, a conversation to be had and just make sure you're comfortable being vulnerable and put yourself out there and put everything into your relationship. You shouldn't need to want to go out all the time. And that's just me um, speaking from, um, I guess just speaking for myself, you shouldn't, you should want to be around your situation. If it's your right. happy place and you're in love and you're in this marriage, it's good to hang out. Right. Of course, we all need our space, but it's good to be with your woman, to be able to enjoy that right. and to be able to live into that. Right. Yeah, and and I, it's about communication skills. Right. Mm-hmm. Literally, you have to practice this, build these skills, work on it in order for it to really, to really work. Because if you don't communicate or if you literally, well, did I blow up every time? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, psych. Okay. <laughs> well, you you have to work on your communication. Definitely. Communication is key. But authentic. Authentic cuz you don't know. Yeah. You don't it's know okay unless you say up. something. It's okay to blow up. I've blown up. Jess, obviously, she's had some blow ups. Oh god. But <laughs> It's good because we get it out and we're able to talk through it. Right. Yeah. It's all about how you end up. And I think like at the end of the day, it's like if you're married or you're in a long ass relationship, you're choosing to be there. Right. So if you're choosing to be there and you want to be there, eh, do what you need to do to make it work. Yes. It's a choice. It is. You know, and if you don't and if you don't want it to work or it's pissing you off, then. Right. Leave. Or if you're unhappy, I don't want to be here all yeah. the time. If you're insecure about that, then it's you, not going to work. Yeah, I want to be out. Work. I want to do what I stuff. Say. I want to hang out with should, the boys. You yeah. should probably, yep. Yeah. Might not work I mean, sometimes. For you. Yeah. Good episode, you guys. Really this good was good. This was. Yeah. Yeah. It was, was very, good. very. We're the, very secure. The world. I just want to put that out there. No, you guys have a very good, secure marriage. Um, this was a very, what is do the word we? I'm looking for? Raw episode. Yeah. I like it. Authentic. Authentic. Right. Real. Yeah. I like Next that. week's episode is going to be even better because we've already discussed it. Mm. Save it, Kale. Save it. Save it. Save okay. It. Oh, okay. it's going to be very good because I have a strong opinion about this one. Okay. But a lot of it has to do with what society has put in people's heads. Okay. Oh, so it's going to be a good one. I like those conversations. Yeah. Oh. I like it. So, uh, oh. Oh. Truly unruly. This is episode twenty six. Hey, we knocked know. it out. Um, this is great. You know, of course, you can listen to us on all major streaming platforms and watch the visual on YouTube on Marcus Trufon's YouTube page. Of course, follow Jessica underscore Trufon on Instagram. Follow Marcus underscore Trufon on IG. You can follow me Media underscore Kells. Follow the Truly Unruly. Truly Unruly underscore podcast page. We're gonna have a contest for about to start here. Yes. Uh, yes, next week we're gonna have a really good giveaway. We reached mm-hmm. a thousand followers. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Keep sharing. There's more prizes when you keep sharing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, so next week you guys will all see that we will have this contest that will be going on social media, and you're gonna win some goodies and some dope stuff. So it should be fun. Uh, yeah. Of course, watch us every Sunday night on Converge Media. Uh, am I missing anything, you guys? I think that's it, man. I, I think, think you got it. Is that all? All right. Well, till next time, y'all. Uh, peace and love.